continue to follow a developing story that we first brought you earlier in the day. A man wanted by multiple agencies across South Carolina is now dead. Police say the suspect, 27-year-old Alston Maudlin, was wanted for shooting a police officer in Macby. That's located in Chesterfield County. That shooting happening around 11 last night. According to the Lee County coroner, Maudlin died around 10 this morning after being on the run to Lee County. There, there was also a, a deputy involved shooting. WIS reporter Ashley Jones live in Lee County, just a few blocks away from the scene. And Ashley, a lot has certainly unfolded since the hunt for Maudlin started last night. That's right, Greg and Billy Jean, and I've just learned um, some more information from Sam, uh, Sheriff Daniel Simon just within the last 10 minutes here. I'm going to get to that in just a moment, but I want you all to take a look at the scene right now. Um, we've had to move back uh, pretty far. If you were with us at noon uh, this afternoon, then you saw that we were closer towards the scene. But again, we've had to move back since Horry County Police Department took over the investigation and they've expanded that investigation to several different parts of Lee County. Uh, talking to the sheriff, uh, Sheriff Daniel Simon again, he told me that, you know, this was not just this scene wasn't just isolated to this area that we're seeing right now, but it kind of expanded into several different parts of Lee County. Now, all of that information is continuing to unfold. But what we know right now is that this all started with that blue alert that was issued by the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division um, around eight o'clock this morning. So again, when I spoke to Sheriff Daniel Simon, he told me that, you know, just looking at what he's been seeing all this morning, this could have went um, could have been much worse than what it is right now. And he's just thankful that things were the situation was mitigated before it did get to um, any worse of situation than what it is right now. Now, this all started after investigators say Maudlin shot an officer out of Macby last night during a traffic stop. From there, SLED issued that blue alert for Maudlin around 8 this morning. It wasn't until around 10 this morning that Maudlin was spotted by Lee County deputies near here, near Ashland Stokes Bridge Road here in Lee County. Again, now, Horry County police have taken the lead in this investigation as far as that deputy involved shooting that happened here in Lee County. They say a quote shooting incident then took place and Maudlin died just a few blocks away from where we're standing right now. Lee, Co Lee County Sheriff Daniel Simon tells me at least one deputy was injured during that shooting. And now we're hearing we've just gotten this confirmed that a canine died as a result of that shooting incident. The canine was not um, necessarily shot during that shooting incident, but just know that a canine did die uh, following that shooting incident this morning. Now, the extent of that deputy's uh, injuries are unknown at this time. I did speak to one man who lives on this road. He told me that Maudlin knocked on his back door just minutes after that shooting with deputies took place around 10 this morning. Listen to that. The time as I got to the back door and look around out the windows and, you know, see who was out there and uh, he was gone. And then the police come and told me I had to leave for a minute. Something happened. And I went down probably about two or three miles down the street and sat till everything was over. And they called me and told me that he had got shot and killed out there in the field, out there at the tent there. Also over in that field? Yeah, he laying out there. Now that shooting in MACB uh, involving that officer there is still under investigation as well. My colleague Naomi Popa is over on that side of South Carolina. She's getting the very latest um, as far as that shooting taking place. But again, this is still under investigation. The investigation is still very fluid and we're working to learn the absolute latest that we can. And of course, we'll bring that to you all um, as soon as we get it. But for now, reporting live here in Lee County, I'm Ashley Jones, WIS News 10. Ashley, thank you so much.